Welcome! In this video clip I'd like to discuss the use of Scan 3D in your project work. So um, I've opened up SolidWorks and I'm going to Office Products and I see that Scan 3D is actually on the top ribbon here. If it's not then of course you go into Add-ins and add Scan 3D. So now that's open up a point cloud. So we go down here to Files and Mesh Files and point cloud XYZ and here are two examples I'm gonna go with the high example here you're gonna be doing the same thing in your project so here is the point cloud itself there we are um, so now the uh, goal is to produce a parametric model from my point cloud okay so to do that first of all what we're gonna do is go into sketch and uh, insert a kind of a rectangle and cube for there we go okay so I'm just going to kind of resize my rectangle to kind of estimate the size of my object, in this case the bucket. And I'm going to exit sketch and then I'm going to change my view and go to the right plane in this case. Okay, and then I'm going to sketch again another rectangle. There we go. There. So what I'm trying to do is create some boundaries for my point cloud. That allows me to orientate the point cloud accurately. Okay, so there we go. Now I'll exit sketch there. Okay, so now I've created two rectangles roughly the size of my bracket. Uh, now what I can do is go into my tools, scan 3D, and go to mesh prep. Um, actually, you can see that you also have a link to your next engine to the scan studio that you use to produce the point cloud in the first place. Or I can go into my point cloud and right click and then drop down to mesh prep. So the intermediate step is actually to generate a mesh uh, from my point cloud. And from a mesh, I can then clean that mesh up and produce a parametric model. Okay, so it recognizes the point cloud immediately. And then I'm just going to scroll through the tools within mesh prep. First of all, I'm going to select the axes uh, control. So I want to orientate my, um, my point cloud so that I can produce accurate parametric models. So there's several. Uh, um, uh, selections here. I can select a reference point if I want to um, and actually select points on my point cloud as my origin and x and y axis or we'll go into numerical input. So that now allows me to orientate my uh, uh, model, my point cloud, so that I can maneuver the point cloud down into my box. And it's essentially designating an origin and an X and a Y axis. There we go. Um, if uh, I want to, I can change angles within the uh, axis as well. So I can rotate around any of my axes. I'll give the controls at the bottom if I want to. Um, and once I'm happy with that, and I, I think I would have to play with this a little more before I was happy, but for now let's just continue. Let me show you the other tools. Um, there's some rotations probably I need to do here. Okay, so let's um, say that we've, we're happy with the orientation. I will continue. Um, this uh, tool reduces the noise level within the point cloud. I recommend you do not touch this. The next tool uh, allows us to remove um, points 
that are extraneous to the model. And we've done a good job, hopefully, in Scan Studio to do this, so we don't need to do this here. If so, though, we could. Uh, next, uh, simplification. We can select the type of simplification we would like in terms of um, the type of point cloud. Again, I don't recommend you touch that. It now constructs the mesh for my point cloud. There we go. Okay, so now it has generated my mesh. As you can see, the yellow is indicated uh, there. There are holes actually in my model, my point cloud. If you're looking at a model and you see somewhere rough areas, perhaps where um, you uh, have a solid surface and it uh, perhaps needs some smoothing out, this is the tool I recommend you use local smoothers in that case. Uh, now uh, the tool will go on to filling up holes. So it lists all the holes it's detected and that will be in the green in this case. If you are unhappy with that selection you can of course change that. Um, so what we will do now is fill in the holes and now we're complete. So now uh, um, what we can do is either go into a surface wizard or go back into our model, into our front, top, and right base planes, and actually just start generating um, the model itself, extruding our planes, and slowly building up a parametric model for our bracket. So I recommend that we switch that off. Okay, so now I can remove my little sketches here. There we go. They're gone. Great. So here is my orientated mesh and I'm ready to do some drawing. So now what I can do is slowly create planes and generate surfaces, uh, extruding them out and generating a parametric model based on my 3D scan. So I hope this works for you and your project. Good luck.